the universe extended conclusively, encouraging altogether extra amazing length after this period. It persisted to grow but at a more sluggish charge. In the end, changing into the universe we look at these days. This is the inflationary speculation of the antique galactic blast, the maximum eminent and widely perceived speculation of how the universe began. However, for some physicists, this head hypothesis does not exactly painting the movement of our universe. They proposed that the universe existed earlier than that factor, extending on and on into the past as well as into the destiny. While the universe is extending nowadays, it became contracting earlier than the Big Bang. In this view, the Big Bang isn't always so much a bang as a jump, a second whilst the contracting universe traded paths and started out to create once more. As proven by their speculation, the universe may want to pass with continued improvement, probably determined by a breakdown inside the far destiny. Then, one more bounce. Several physicists proposed the SAR is probably never-ending. This demanding situation's the norm cosmological view wherein the whole thing started out with a large bang. The terrific physicist Brian Cox additionally challenges the speculation of ways things got here to be, putting forward that something can't emerge from nothing. Adding to the pressure, the James Webb Telescope has made startling revelations clashing with the concept that the Big Bang can be taken into consideration the starting of the universe. These findings deliver up the query. If the Big Bang wasn't the start of the universe, then what was? Could the universe sooner or later start with a bypass or something totally different? The idea that the universe had a beginning or a day without a yesterday, because it turned into initially recognized, returns to George Lametra in 1927. Whilst it is a less than perfect scenario to suggest that the universe probably had a beginning, that length of galactic history has little to do with the hot sizable bang that depicted our underlying universe. However, special place experts or even a minority of experts nonetheless stay with conviction that the Big Bang marks the very beginning of everything. All matters taken into consideration, the definition is out of date. The Big Bang is not the presentation of existence as we'd be aware about these days. In fact, there may be a lot evidence highlighting a non-solitary beginning of our universe. We never arrived at those conclusions based totally on no obtrusive endpoint or high temperatures. Our universe is pleasant described via an inflationary duration that came about before the Big Bang. The Big Bang is the end result of what took place in the direction of the consummation of advancement. During improvement, the universe changed into totally void, no debris, no matter, no photons, just void space. Area itself became packed with an vast amount of power at each place. This strength changed over time, extending in a brief and determined style. Because the universe extended, those modifications loosened up to large extensions, even as new, confined scale modifications have been made to pinnacle them. This superposition of instabilities across scale scales is a characterizing detail of cosmological extension. It'd give up for arbitrary reasons, not deliberate. If you lived in an increasing universe, you'll probably come upon close by areas in which augmentation reached an end, or the area amongst you and them prolonged emphatically. In brief, you may attempt to understand what takes place towards the starting of a huge impact before that place vanished absolutely from view. At the start, it consists of a small neighborhood vicinity, possibly no more significant than a human-sized hamster ball, however in all likelihood extensively bigger. The energy feature of area then gets modified over into matter and radiation. This variation occurs speedy, taking roughly but now not instantaneously. Because the energy certain up in area itself changes over into particles, photons, and greater. The temperature fast augments from only a few degrees above absolute zero to perhaps around 20 Kelvin over the equal brief time frame. Because of the large degree of electricity changed, the whole thing actions near the speed of mild. All debris act as radiation with large strength, whether they're massless or large. This change is called reheating, marking the end of development and the start of the degree referred to as the new Big Bang. As improvement proceeds, you'll witness a large change from all preceding situations. While the recent Big Bang begins, the expanding universe quick slows down after the hidden image of development in an inflationary universe. Area expands definitively, with more a long way away regions running unendingly. Whilst development ends and the hot Big Bang starts, more distant regions will recede from you to an ever-increasing degree. Progressively, as time progresses, 
the part of the universe in which improvement ends sees the extension rate drop, even as the expanding areas surrounding it see no such drop. Below expansion, the space to any item could double after a certain duration. And whilst that identical amount of time elapses, that distance doubles once more indefinitely. Once the Big Bang begins, this modifications because the expanding universe slows down after the initial 2D of improvement. Before the Big Bang, you may encounter improvement cleaning off with neighboring areas. These regions in which development ends will fill with depend, antimatter, and radiation, and expand more slowly than the still growing regions leaving you inside the increasing nearby as a regular community within space-time. Those regions in which warm Big Bangs get up become remote from different locations in which development continues, which means they'll fast recede from each other's view within the norm inflationary photograph. Because of this, the improvement price modifications, there is little chance that any universes with separate warm Big Bangs will ever have interaction. The area wherein we come to reside gets distinctly lucky and growth reaches an end for us. The energy function of space itself gets modified over to a warm, thick, and almost uniform ocean of particles. With the number one imperfections and departures from consistency regarding the quantum changes that existed and have been loosened up across the universe sooner or later of development. The high-quality energy quantum fluctuations correspond initially to over-dense areas, whilst the awful energy fluctuations get modified over into initially under-dense regions those characteristic as the seeds of huge systems. We cannot see these density fluctuations nowadays as they were while the universe to begin with went via the warm Big Bang. There are not any visible imprints we can get entry to from that early duration. The primary observable imprint comes from round 380,000 years later. After going via fantastic affiliations, although we will extrapolate again to recognize the preliminary density fluctuations, finding something constant with the narrative of galactic development. The temperature fluctuations are engraved within the Cosmic Microwave History, CMB, providing proof of how the Big Bang commenced. However, there are numerous inconsistencies among the CMB and our contemporary version of cosmology. We are lacking something, and those may be summarized in for inconsistencies. First, on especially large scales, the universe isn't always behaving as predicted. The light from the CMB is being lensed through depend between us and the CMB, meaning depend acts like a large lens, bending and converting the amplitude of the light in the back of it. The extent of this lensing is not constant with our cutting-edge model, representing an amazing venture for cosmology. Secondly, the two facets of the equator of the CMB sky have one-of-a-kind, not unusual temperatures, conflicting with the expectation of uniformity in the universe's earliest level. The assumption that the universe ought to have started reliably leads to severe inconsistencies. Third, the value of the Hubble study, which describes how speedy the universe is expanding, changes depending upon whether we measure it from the cosmic microwave historical past, CMB, or from neighboring stars. Collectively, these irregularities recommend we are missing something crucial in how we interpret the universe. One proposed solution comes from loop quantum cosmology, which originates from loop quantum gravity. In this framework, gravity itself is made up of particles referred to as quanta, shaping the cloth of existence. In loop quantum cosmology, there is a smallest scale of area, the Planck scale, or 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 35 meters. This means the Big Bang couldn't exist in a universe described through this principle. Instead, the universe could by no means reach an infinitely small, dense factor near the Big Bang. In loop quantum cosmology, whilst the universe became very small, quantum corrections anticipated a repulsive pressure, causing a jump as a substitute of a singularity. This shows that our universe may have originated from a preceding universe that reduced in size and then expanded yet again, just like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Whilst the concept of a cosmic jump isn't entirely new, loop quantum cosmology offers a mathematical framework to assist it. Cyclic time, just like the concept of a cosmic jump, is also discovered in Hindu cosmology, adding similarly weight to this idea. If loop quantum cosmology is correct, the early universe might have had a moderate electricity and density. This condition could modify the CMB, appearing as slight variations in temperature throughout the sky. These variations, measured via the best electricity spectrum, 
ought to provide large proof of the universe's foundation and support the possibility of a jump. Overall, loop quantum cosmology offers a compelling opportunity to the trendy Big Bang version, potentially resolving a number of the lengthy standing inconsistencies in cosmology and offering insights into the origins of the universe. It additionally offers a promising motive of the third irregularity, the discrepancy in average temperatures between the two hemispheres of the CMB sky. The structure furnished by way of loop quantum cosmology addresses the number one anomalies located within the CMB, the unusual conduct at large scales and the lensing impact. According to Dr. Venet Goind of the National Institute of Advanced Research, the possibility that those irregularities aren't just size mistakes, but originate from quantum gravity results early within the universe is pretty the idea that the universe started out in a cosmic bounce has been proposed before, but its affirmation requires full-size studies. Cosmic variance poses a venture in this view, as our observations can be limited to unique parts of the universe, complicating our expertise. Dr. Dwayne Johnson, a co-author of A Giant Have a Look At and a professor at Penn Nation College, highlights the trouble in validating such theories because of the big range. But the incorporation of new possibilities like loop quantum cosmology and its full-size implications hold promise in resolving particular cosmological issues. Despite these enhancements, a vast question stays. Did the universe have a beginning at all? Proponents of the universe having a beginning insist that it did. But this raises questions about the nature of the event that started out the whole lot. Conversely, Cyclic cosmology proposes an everlasting universe constantly present process cosmic bounces. However, physicist William Kenney of the University at Buffalo identifies a fundamental flaw in this concept. Entropy. The diploma of ailment in a device increases with each cosmic bounce, main to a non-stop depletion of usable energy. This entropy boom implies a beginning, like a big bang, conflicting with the concept of an everlasting universe. Whilst new cyclic fashions try to address this problem by way of such as expansive ranges between bounces to burn up entropy, Kenny's studies suggest that the universe probably had a completely unique beginning. Kenny's findings highlight the ongoing debate over cyclic universes, prompting similarly investigation into their feasibility. Proponents of cyclic universes have yet to completely deal with this grievance. The clinical communique approximately this subject matter continues to evolve driven with the aid of the hunt to decide the universe's origins and its closing fate. Quantum cosmology and cyclic models, which recommend numerous mechanisms to address anomalies, have sparked interest among cosmologists. Nelson Dos Santos of the Brazilian National Institute for Space Studies, who has delved into bouncing and cyclic models, notes that while loop quantum cosmology bounces address CMB anomalies, they may not be beneficial. Still, he remains assured in the possibility of a cyclic universe. In keeping with Nelson, the existence of the universe is advantageous, creating a cyclic universe always present seem extra viable than one created at a specific moment. As a scientist, he remains open to exploring both possibilities. While the beginning of our universe remains a mystery, there has been severe dialogue about its final destiny. The destiny of the universe relies upon its composition, which includes dark energy and rely. Determining its fate, basically, there are two main situations, infinite enlargement or contraction. In one scenario, the universe expands indefinitely, with stars eventually exhausting their gas, leaving behind stellar remnants like white dwarfs and black holes. But the fate of the universe relies upon the nature of dark energy, a mysterious force driving the universe's increase. If dark energy remains constant, the universe's enlargement accelerates, main to a cold, dark, huge freeze as remember disperses and entropy increases. Instead, if there is sufficient count, the universe's boom may slow and opposite into contraction. This scenario leads to the possibility of a cyclic universe model, where the universe undergoes cycles of expansion and contraction, never reaching infinite density or a specific beginning. Each cycle marks the start of a new era of life, supplying a more reassuring attitude compared to a cold, dark demise. Regardless of the universe's fate, our presence at this unique moment is brilliant. It indicates our unique position in the universe and the vital function of expertise in considering the universe's vastness and its inevitable fact. As we contemplate the universe's nature, 
we are compelled to bear in mind the meaning of our existence and the brief nature of time itself. Thank you for taking note of this episode. Your guide drives us to deliver high-quality content material, and we appreciate your feedback on brand new topics. Stay tuned for future episodes by subscribing and spreading the word. Until next time, maintain exploring the mysteries of the universe.